Welcome to the Sportsnomic Podcast, where our capital is sport. ESPN signs exclusive broadcast agreement with USL's League One. Media Pro enters Canadian market with exclusive content. Franklin becomes the official ball of the Mexican Baseball League. The New England Patriots are now setting their sights on conquering China. Professional Mexican Basketball League, LNBP, adds its 15th franchise. Hello everyone, my name is Augusto Blacker, and today we're going to be talking about stories that are making waves locally and globally in the sports industry. United States cable giant ESPN announced it has reached an agreement with the United Soccer Leagues and will broadcast the entire League One 2019 season via ESPN+. The United Soccer League's League One, which begins play on March 29th and finishes its 2019 season later this year in October, will be broadcast on ESPN on an exclusive basis. This, in addition to its existing broadcast agreements with the USL's championship, the league's top-tier division, all adds up to a mouth-watering 700 matches ESPN will broadcast on an exclusive basis throughout the country, which speaks volumes about the United Soccer League's ever-growing reach and power. With MLS games already on their group of networks, ESPN thus becomes a must-watch for the die-hard American soccer fan. Looks like someone's preparing the groundwork for World Cup 2026. Spanish telecom giants MediaPro continue to expand their global presence and have now entered the Canadian market vis-a-vis their agreement to establish a pay-per-view platform for certain Canadian soccer properties. The agreement, which was signed with Canadian Soccer Business, a local company which represents several Canadian soccer properties such as the Canadian Premier League, which begins play this April and will count on the participation of 13 soccer franchises, will see MediaPro produce most of its matches. This in addition to the broadcast rights for both the men's and women's Canadian national soccer teams. U.S.-based Franklin Sports recently signed a two-year deal to become the official ball of the Mexican Baseball League. Once the Mexican Baseball League teams throw their first pitch in the league opener in April later this year, Franklin will become the exclusive baseball game and practice ball supplier for the league. This agreement gives Franklin exclusive presence in both of Mexico's biggest and most important baseball leagues, as they have a pre-existing agreement with La Liga Mexicana del Pacifico. While the National Football League might not be the top rating setter in the Chinese market, surprise, surprise, the New England Patriots do find themselves on the top of the list of most viewed American football games broadcast there. This according to Chinese consulting firm Mailman, who added that the Patriots' official channel on Chinese social media giant Weibo has grown from 100,000 followers to half a million followers in the last year alone. Following the Patriots in terms of popularity are the Pittsburgh Steelers, who amassed a respectable 271,000 followers. The market study concludes that the Patriots' presence online on Chinese social media is growing at a quicker rate than even some European football giants, such as Manchester United and even FC Barcelona. Impressive stuff yet again from the Patriots. The Liga Nacional de Basketball Profesional, LNBP, added yet another franchise to their growing roster of teams by announcing the Astros of Jalisco had officially joined the burgeoning league as its 15th franchise. Sergio Ganem, the LNBP's acting president, was congratulatory in nature as he spoke of the inclusion of the team from Guadalajara and considers it an added bonus that fans from the city will now be an integral part of the league. Salvador Quirarte, president of the Charros de Jalisco, and Carlos Bremer, president of Grupo Value, an active promoter of sports throughout Mexico, are behind the Astros project. Hope you enjoyed the podcast, and thanks to all of you for tuning in to one more edition of the Sportsnomics podcast, where our capital is sport.